What's up everyone? Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and I have something pretty cool. This is the iDriver Pocket Armor Radio Control Tank from Kyosho and as you can see it's M1 A2 Abrams. Classic tank. Now this guy is pretty small and as you can see by the palm of my hand it is very tiny. Um, but the thing about it, a lot of these smaller ones, they don't look really realistic but this guy he looks pretty smashing. So what I'll do, let's have a quick look around the box before we open it up. So it's smart uh, smart control, so use your uh, smartphone to control it up. Full decoration, I'm pretty sure that just means the scale, the looks of it. Rotating wheel, well that's handy, to, <laughs> that's always good to have. Advanced track link, runtime of 120 minutes, and it does have recall action. One thing it doesn't have though is turret control, so bear that in mind. Now it uses three AAA batteries, uh, that's pretty cool, got heaps of those for rechargeable, so that's not bad. It's a scale of 1 60th, and there's your little uh, iPad or iPhone or Android controlled screen that you use to control this bad boy. Now it does come in different colours, and there are also different tanks. I've got the uh, 5, what is it, the 69050C camouflage, there's also desert, and there is green. There we go, there's the uh, app, we need to download that later on. It is available on App Store or Google Play, it's called Pocket Armor, so we'll go download that guy later on, but uh, enough about that, let's go see what you get inside. Yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty sweet, now I can see better without the glare from the stupid plastic, but there we go, there's my hand, you can see how tiny it is, but the detail on this guy is pretty, uh, pretty cool, even if you don't want to use it as a model, you can just use, I'm um, sorry, even if you don't want to use it as an RC, you can always use it as a model and just put it on your uh, desk or something like that, but there we go, oh, there we go, cooking with gas now, <laughs> I guess that's how you get inside. Now this guy is from Crazy Hobbies, I have the other models as well, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go check it out, but uh, yeah, let's go uh, see what else you get, we've got to rip this guy off the base, oh here we go. Ah, goody. So we actually do get some accessories. There we go there. Looks like we have some jerry cans. We have this little cool cat. There, little commander. We do have some extra tanks, uh, extra tracks as well. And some other oil drums, which is really cool. Of course, we've got to open up the instructions. Okay, safety precautions. So basic instructions here, pretty much. Number one, it says get three AAA uh, batteries. Rechargeable, it recommends. Please switch the tank in standby mode and then it connects via Bluetooth to the application. But we'll look into that further on as we get down, uh, down the hole a little bit further. Okay, there we have it off the stand. It has two, dumb, two screws that hold it onto the base just so it doesn't muck around in transit. But there we have there, separate uh, motors for each track. And they are fairly large little motors for uh, the size of this guy. The tracks are rubber, not much to them. There is no, obviously, no belt tensioner here for the track. It's obviously just relying on the uh, elasticity of this rubber to keep it all on the tracks and the sprockets out. Don't think it would be much issue with it, considering how light and this, how small it is. But there we have three AA batteries. It does also come with a battery door just there. But let's have a close look at the details of the tank. And from the 160th scale, it is, you know, pretty detailed. The... Uh, as you can see, the barrel moves up and down. No uh, control of the barrel or the uh, left and right movement of the turret, but uh, some detail just there. Camo is pretty cool, nice color, and you can also put the accessories in there, the commander and all that kind of stuff. If you see fit, does have some of the uh, vents and stuff like that on the real tank. Does have the rack here around the side, around the around the uh, back of the turret. This is where you can also put the accessories in the back there if you want to jazz it up a little bit. It's also got the little grenade launchers there, it's pretty cool. And uh, if you really wanted to, you could weather this guy up <coughs> a little bit more. To get the turret off, you just turn this guy and lift it up. You see it's got like a little keys in there, which it notches just like that. And there's the uh, little board in there, the Bluetooth module. Yeah, pretty tiny, that's for sure. I like it. Now to put the turret back on, you just line these keys up. There we go. Pretty cool. Now let me charge up some AA or AAA battery, sorry, and put this guy in here. Now if you want to know where the on and off button is, it's just here. It's kind of hidden under the uh, turret, but you just push that little button there. There we go. It's in standby mode, as you can see by that blue LED. 
Alrighty, so I couldn't work it out on my Android phone. Not too sure why. Maybe it's the latest version. Wasn't working with my uh, my device. But anyway, it works on the iPad. Don't laugh at my juicy case here. It's from the kids that don't break this bad boy. But anyway, what you do, you turn the tank on first. As you can see, it's got this little LED light there, and which indicates it's on. And let's put the turret back on this guy. Really easy. Make sure Bluetooth's on the device. Once you get it set it up, you'll see you have a tank here, that's the tank and you just click start and that's it and you have a normal style of uh, control with any kind of tank these two forward you go forward and back and if I can get it all in frame let me move this camera back alrighty there we go so you push forward two, two together it goes forward push two together it goes back and like any tank one or the other or you can do a nice little pivot turn like that <laughs> we get there and you also got a cannon sound and a machine gun so this is a machine gun <laughs> pretty sweet and this one is the actual cannon you can see that the tank actually moves back with the recoil not really realistic but for the uh, demographic that this is marketed at I think the kids will find it cool Yeah, but pretty cool. So let me get this out of frame so I can show you guys how this little tank works. The sound from these motors is really, really quiet. It does run very smoothly. But uh, let's go a bit of a... Oh. Maybe something better than this cardboard that keeps moving around. Here we go. My phone there. So let's give this a bit of a test. So obviously it doesn't have suspension, but uh, you, for the price, I don't think you're going to be expecting any more. Can you hear the? If I put the uh, device up to the microphone, <laughs> pretty cool. The machine gun sounds actually pretty good, and it does have settings as well. So go to the settings here. You can turn the sound effects on or off, language, all that kind of stuff, and change. I think some of the controls here, but yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, this is available for Android and iOS. Pretty cool. So don't expect a speed demon or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it does perform pretty good. It's yeah, pretty quiet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I love tanks. I've got to start getting into more tanks. I've just had so many cars that I've been reviewing lately. But uh, yeah, just lose it. And, yep, make sure, and just to, to let you guys know, the turret does not turn, it's just, it's just free spins in there freely so that's it navigation again is basically you push two at the same time it goes forward for two at the same time it goes backwards I get it in shot there we go there push two backwards two at the same time goes forwards you can do a pivot turn like that either way or you want to steer and kind of go straight like that pretty easy so yeah, let me know what you guys think. A pretty cool little tank. Leave the link in the description down below. They are pretty cheap. It's under like, I think it's under $60 Australian. Yeah, it could be much cheaper other places of the world, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Something to play with. Definitely on the desk, that's for sure. You wouldn't really want to go outside with this guy because they, I don't think it's going to handle rocks or any debris in those little tracks. Because don't forget, they are rubber, but they do give you a spare set which is nice uh, in case you do wreck it or something like that so yeah pretty cool I like it my kids will definitely like it I guarantee that they're gonna claim it's theirs straight away but yeah let me know, let me know what you guys think and uh, you want me to start doing some more RC tanks I definitely know a lot of you guys do so see if I can get some more tanks in I do have a fair few of them but I just haven't had just had to hadn't haven't had time so yeah thanks guys any questions like I mentioned leave them down below Thanks guys, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7.
the next video.